Hey, how's everybody doing out there today? This is Jamel with Kingdom Citizenship reaching out to you. I know it's been a minute. Uh, somebody actually just recently hit me up and they said, hey man, what happened to the videos you were putting out and you know, all that and just wanted to see if you were still doing that. And you know, got, it got me to thinking because it has been a minute and, and really been all honest with you, honest with you, the Lord's just been working with me and taking me on this, on this little journey through the word and, and dealing with me with things in my life as I'm growing and, and, and striving to walk with him and in him and you know every day growing more and more in love with Jesus Christ so when it hit me up I said you know let me just drop a line of encouragement out there to 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 everybody else because listen I know everybody's going through something I know everybody's going through something and and one thing that I'm learning that, that, that God is teaching me as I'm walking through what I'm walking through is, you know, where is your faith at? You know, is your faith in me? Because if your faith is in me, I will never let you down. I will never drop you. If your faith is in me, I'm always going to be there for you. You know, I've learned that, you know, through my journey and through my walk, it was never God that's left me. It was always me that left God, right? somebody's going through something you know and let me just share something with you man you may not be who you want to be right now but if you trust in God and let him do what he's doing in your life tomorrow's a new day you know I struggle with a lot of things in my walk and in my life and on this journey you know alcohol you know out here running these streets and doing different things in the world um that had me far away from my God, you know, and, and I struggled for years trying to figure out who I was and, and, and what I was supposed to do and where I was supposed to go. And what God has showed me is that through my journey and, 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 and through those, through those stops that he allowed me, see, check that, that he allowed me to go through in life, God was making and molding me, you know, it was through the things that you've gone through and through the things that you've been through in life that God makes and molds you into something or someone that he can use. So, you know, don't hate the things that you've been through. Learn from the things that you've been through. Ask the Holy Spirit to open your eyes so he can see or so that he can show you how those things that you've been through are going to be able to, to, to position you to help other people in Christ Jesus, right? And, and that's what God is showing me, you know, that, you know, because for the longest time, and I'm 38 years old, right? And, and, and I felt like I wasted so much time in my life and the things that I wanted to do, right? Now that I'm walking with the Lord. And one thing that God, through the Holy Spirit, has showed me is that everything that you've been through, right? Now, don't get it twisted. We make choices and decisions, right? So the things that you go through, you made a choice and a decision to go through that. But God can use those things to, 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 position you where he wants you to be at so God has showed me that through the things that I've been through right that he's going to use those things to position me to be able to help other people in the kingdom so whatever you going through man listen hold your head up today may not be the best day but you still breathing and you still got time trusting God trust in Jesus because there's no other name given on earth and I'm out here walking right there's no other name given on earth that man might be saved by except Jesus Christ. God is not through with you yet. I know you you struggling with cigarettes, you struggling with alcohol, you struggling with fornication, you struggling, right? You struggling to try to be who, who God has called you to be, but for some reason, you just can't get past what you're going through. God said, hold on. He said, I won't give you more than you're able to bear up under, but are you gonna trust in me to deliver you from that? You know, it reminds me of, of, of the movie. I was listening to another brother earlier today. And I'm going to leave you with this. The uh, movie, uh, um, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. And, and the three little, the, the, the two brothers and the two sisters, they had a little cousin, Hustis, that, that, that he was, man, he was a little, he was a little chump, always causing trouble, right? But he was able to sneak away and go with them to, to Narnia. And C.S. Lewis was the writer of, of the book and obviously the, the, the movie and he used a lot of biblical uh, 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 
uh, biblical theology, uh, a lot of biblical images in the movie. And we see Eustace again was a jerk, right? He had a lot of bad stuff on the inside of him. And when he came to Narnia, what he was on the inside began to show itself on the outside and he became this fire breathing dragon. And he was as a dragon, always biting and scratching and ripping at himself to, to, to try to get him to go back to his other form, right? He's ripping at himself and that's how we are in our sin. We're moving and we're doing things that we're not quite comfortable with that we know we shouldn't be doing. And again, you're struggling with these things and you're trying to remove them by yourself. But see, like Houston, we have to learn we don't got the power to remove that by ourselves. In the movie, in the book, Aslan, who was the image of Jesus Christ, had to come to Houston and he told them, what you're doing, you, you don't have the power to do. And Aslan breathed on him. In drag, when he was in dragon form, he breathed on him and he went back to his normal form, little, normal little boy. And it's the same thing with us. We don't have the power to change these things. The lying, the thieving, the fornication, the, um, the uh, smoking, the drinking, whatever it is you're struggling with. Whatever it is you're struggling with, you know it's a struggle. You don't have the power to change it. You don't have the power to heal yourself. But if you put your faith in Jesus Christ, he has the power to change you into who you're supposed to be, who he created you to be, right? So that's my message of encouragement today. Take your eyes off yourself and look to the heavens. Call on the name of Jesus, the word of God says, and you will be saved. He will not forsake you and he will not leave you. Trust in Jesus Christ for all things because he loves you. Again, I'm Jamel with Kingdom Citizenship. Y'all have a great day. Be blessed in the Lord Jesus Christ.